I've always liked to be hands-on. I don't like to be someone in the back of the crowd. I like to be right up on the piece and doing what I gotta do to make sure it operates properly. I am a 13 Bravo Cannon crew member. I've always been enthusiastic about big machinery and, and weaponry, so this was kind of like home sweet home for me. That being said, there is a lot to learn as far as like the anatomy of the weapon, how it operates, how to maintain it, and then how we receive our information from the Juliets. So currently we have the 13 Juliets coming out here. This is their culminating event for the CT operations. They're coming uh, beside their Bravo counterparts, and some of the Bravos will actually teach our Juliets so we get that peer-to-peer -peer training. Who's the AG? Pretty much when they came over to our, our net, we were told just to teach them about the weapon, uh, what each part of the crew does on the weapon, just so they're sort of familiar with what we do. It, it's a lot of information, but it's it's all tying together, so it's it's making sense. The hands-on training is very important. Um, you can sit up here all day long and you can teach a person and you can read out of a book, but until you put your hands on this weapon system and all its issued items, you're not really going to understand how all those new moving pieces play into a big major role of what we do. We're doing live fire CTE training, which is basically blessing off at the fact that they've learned their job and they learned it proficiently enough that they are ready to move on to their units out in force comm. When I was coming in, degraded operations was the only thing that was going on. There was no digital systems at the time. So they took the charts out uh, a couple years back. So bringing back the charts is a big deal because if you don't understand the chart, you won't actually understand what the automated system is doing for you. I believe manual is important because in today's world, computers and technology runs everything. And and everything that's man-made eventually breaks down. So eventually when those computers and those systems go down and that, it's gonna be important to know your charts and darts and how to go manual and be able to still continue on with your job even when everything's down. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel on top of the world knowing that I did my little bit of my part to get the future of the Army ready to do their job. Uh, at the end of the day, we do have to meet the enemy head on and sometimes things can get out of hand but thankfully back here out of the main scuffle we can bring some support and bring down some real heavy artillery on people and keep the mission moving forward. The biggest things that I would have them take away from here is try to take a little bit of everything that I've given them and mix it up and create it and change it and make it your own but embody all the basic knowledge of artillery and pay it forward. Stay with the TMs, keep your head in the freaking books, and train.